Hi ladies, um, as promised to yesterday, I thought that I would do a um, brief, hopefully brief, um, painting of the face in the value study of the face. The high, the low lights and the highlights to try to bring out the dimensions of the face. I, um, you know, I have been drawing faces continuously. I still can't give it, get it right. But remember, this isn't about creating a portrait, uh, an exact portrait of yourself, your muse, your goddess, your whatever your vision is. It's not, uh, it's, it's not about an exact image. It's not about perfectionism. So we're throwing that word right out the window. We're just going with what we feel and, and, uh, and do the best that we can. I do do a lot of tools. As I say, there's no shame in the game, or as many of us artists say this, and uh, Gloria, she, that, um, Gloria Popowitz, that's one of her favorite quotes, so I'm stealing it from her because I love it. But I will download an image, um, and I will do a black and white image usually that has a lot of shade, shadows or shading. Now I'm not copying the image exactly. So you can go to the free images or you can just use what you have on your phone or you can uh, Google something. Uh, it takes uh, forgers years and years and years to copy an image and make it perfect. But I just, I copy it, I get the idea, I can see where the highlights and the low lights are. So in here, and I, I in the tutorial on our group page, I have, you can download these, but these are some that I'm just gonna use. So as you see here, I just downloaded an image and you can see where she's got a lot of shadows in there under her neck, around her mouth and her eyes and her nose. So that is one image that I will use. Here's another one. This is a painted image. Um, it kind of, it's a, it gives you a little bit more so you can see it in paint. Um, you can see on the side of the nose where the shadows would be. You can see in the cheekbones over to this side here, over on this side where the lights are. I mean, this is not, I'm not teaching you all these technical terms. We're just having fun playing with our vision. This, the painting, when you're done, is gonna tell a story more than it is anything else. And then I found this one. This one's in color, and a lot of times I like to use color, and there's a lot of formulas for color. We're not getting into that today. Um, Again, if you just want to buy uh, flesh tones in your paints, you can usually get them in the craft department. Um, uh, some, some of the higher brands carry like Titan Buff, which is similar, it's not our skin tone. But, and then I downloaded this one because I really liked, you could see the shadows around the lips, you can see around in the nose, and then this was a great eye. So, um, and you can really see, do you see the shadow under the lid? And, and do you see that there, it's not all white? And then the iris, you could see the colors. So um, we're not gonna spend too much time on eyelashes. Sometimes eyelashes can make it look real cartoony, which I've experienced many a time. And mine are kind of cartoony. I mean, my gals are, I. Uh, they're under the gypsy spirit. So I'm not trying for perfectionism, as I said, or realism. If you want that, you you know, you, you'll research that farther. We do have an artist in our studio, Dirk Hansen, who's fabulous on the human, painting human portraits. He's well known for his Native American portraits. You can look him up, Google him. He does teach classes uh, in the summer months down at Athens Old School Art Studio. And he also does private classes in his home. Uh, but check him out. I can put the link to him down below too if you want to. And he specializes in oil paints. We're working in acrylics. Uh, acrylics is fun. Um, uh, you can't get a lot of the shades and the tonal effects and the depth that you do get with oils. So keep that in mind also. Anyway, so what we're gonna do here today is, is I'm going to try and attempt to paint for you her. So, uh, let's see. I'm going to look at first, you know, I might just dive right in here to the color, color one. 
because we don't have a whole lot of time here. Although you can use the, use the um, black and white if you want. I am, today the colors I have, a lot of times I just use, you know, Titan buff and burnt sienna white and a little black, but I do add a little red and a little yellow ochre. ochre. Um, I use a cadmium medium. Um, you can use the light, but the light has a little bit of an orange hue to it. So I found that the medium for me works better for my vision, for what I'm seeing. If you want your person to be green or blue, then just go for green or blues. You know, it's up to you. Just make it what you want to make it. Um, let's see. So I will take, and I'm, I work from the darks to the lights. That's just the way I do. I don't know really what you're supposed to do. But right now, I'm going to take look at her. Can you all see? I'm going to look at her, and I'm going to see that she has um, a fine place to start. A lot of times I actually start around the eyeball, but I think I'll, I'll, I'll start in here and I'll start with the sides and I'll just start throwing some with not really any thought to it, some darker colors here just to, and I'm going to use black in this case so that you can um, really see it. Do you see it? So we're just... This is really, really super hard to paint in front of people. Now look at, here's my neck. That neck is so wrong. Although look at her neck. But her, the neck actually starts up here by the ear if you really look at it. This is probably Photoshopped. I don't know. But your neck really should be more consistent with the lower part of your ear. Now you can see them coming down here. Oops, you can't see this. And I'm coming in here with this. See this shape? And I'm just looking at everything as being shape. I'm not looking at it as being a chin. I'm not looking at it as being a neck. It's just shape. And if black scares you, go with the dark brown. Go with it. Hmm. I don't know if my phone was ringing. I could hear bells. I could hear bells. I kind of made a mistake right here in showing you the shape. I'll go and cover that up a little bit. There we go. It's wet, so. Uh, and then we'll continue to take this dark here on this side, a little dark. Now we'll go for the, under the lip, which is dark. And it comes in here with a little bit lighter than the dark black. We're coming a little lighter. And now I'm just showing you these really deep dark colors so you can see how how we're how I'm coming out, how I'm bringing the light out, and the dark is in the background. I hope you all can see this. If not, you know you can. We could probably try to bring it a little closer. And today, in today's live video, we'll probably do a little bit more with this other face here. But I just wanted to give you an opportunity, if you had a chance, to get your shades in. If you're following along, step by step. If not, that's okay, too. Or if you're just watching, learning something. We've got the nostrils here. The nostrils, and then... Kind of just getting the shape back here and then her lips you know now you know i was reading <laughs> that you are not supposed to see how this changes you're not supposed to look at makeup tutorials to paint your face and i posted using makeup tutorial i do i don't know i especially for putting on lips the way they put their lipsticks on and everything, they've got some really great ideas. Oh, and kind of the dark kind of goes up in here. There we go. So we got some of the darks in. Now I will go ahead and take some of the lights. You know, just try it and get my lights in my 
figure out where they are. And I, I really have no rhyme or reason for it. And as I said, I, I've drawn and painted faces and still. And the funniest thing, it looks like my son, Ron. <laughs> Everything I paint looks like my son, Ron. I don't know why. Maybe because he is here with me in spirit. Ron passed away five years ago. And he may be, he may be my muse in a little bit, in a way. So. so. I don't want to lose that. And you know, sometimes having this weird eye staring out with nothing in it is weird. You know, and then I just keep kind of playing and mixing colors until something actually happens, you know? Getting a little lighter in here. Do you see how the magic, how it just seems to start to pop out? And of course, I'm getting a little muddy. That's all right, because we'll come back in with the colors after, after we figure out what we're trying to accomplish in the end. Can you all see? All right, now, sometimes I go back in once I kind of got an idea of where my shadows and stuff are going to be and going to fall on the face. I go back in and I, because I, I just get kind of creeped out of no eyeballs. And once I put an eyeball on, they they all seem to come to life. I'm not really going to worry about the ears much because I have a real feeling we're going to have lots of hair and colored hair or something. And it is going to be a girl eventually. And then I sometimes I'll take and, and just kind of Bow in the lips a little bit too, so once I figure out where I I want them to be. Really looks like Ron right now. It's crazy. So I just keep layering these colors and not really now I got a lot of red. You know, not really worrying about it too much. Good thing this is being taped because then I can edit it or I can change it. All right, so I think what I'm going to do here right now is this. I'm going, because I'm being kind of creeped out by the eyes and I kind of would like to put personality here so I can start to determine what her face is going to actually look like. You can get a piece of chalk at this point if you'd like and draw in your eyes. But I'm going to do a close up here, bring this closer up to you. I'm going to set these aside. I'm going to take a piece of painter's tape. And I'm actually going to tape this right here. Okay, so I can see it. Now, you know, you could at this point. If you had the exact right size that you wanted, you could. You could. No shame in the game. You could take a piece of carbon paper and trace your eye to get your eye even. But we're not going to do that. Not a, not today. But one, I do do that sometimes. So, um, at this point, we're going to need a real fine liner brush and a, maybe a little blender kind of like that um the, oh i don't really have too many liner brushes that are good shape here um and i want to do it a little larger so you can see okay so i'll go in here and i'll take my black and i'll just make in the shape of an eye, which is an almond. Sometimes I get my eyes a little too close together. You know, just 
see that? It said, it got a little close. And I'm just taking my black and making the my brush just a little bit to get some of the black off and I'm going to take and go in with the tight and buff I think and a little white and uh, do a kind of cherry that up underneath the eye and I go up here and I cherry that up. Ooh, I got a little black in there. Oops. That's okay because your eye is not white. Actually, there's a little blue in that eye. You know, I don't have blue in your list, but I'm going to put a little blue in there on here. You can see that she's got a little blue in here. You know, down in here, you can see that. brown eyes. Sometimes in the eyes I take a little yellow ochre. Um, I mix a little red with a little white and tighten to make a very light Ooh, that's a little dark so if I get it a little too dark like this like you see right here in this corner just go over it with a little um, tighten Got bloodshot eyes now. We're going to add a little weight over that. So, I mean, it's really not that difficult. Maybe I'll make a little bit of the brown a little lighter. And like I said, we're really not going for a ton of detail here. I mean, even take a little, little bit of the black really wish I could get this closer. I'm gonna try this here. How's that? But again, we'll do this live today again. And it's just a guessing by golly, you know, and play with it a little bit until you're, until you're real happy with it. I'm going to put the little eyelid in up here. You know, we've got a lot of lights in your eyelid. There's up in here, you know, on the top front, that's an outward part. So you want to make that a lot lighter than you want back in here in your darker area. You know, might even want to put in a, and this edge would be, darker under here would be a little bit on the darker side now that's a little dark don't be afraid to use your fingers but really you know ladies don't don't like your paintbrush and don't all the things that I do um, <laughs> and use my lick my finger and use it as a brush I mean paint is toxic can be toxic so you just you really just want to be careful that you are mindful. Um, I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of darker in this area. Maybe down in here. 
and the, you, know, you can see that the eye is really becoming quite defined. Um, I think I'll just take a little brush stroke right under here a little bit of the darker where eyelashes could be. You know, of course, you put the white sparkle in the eye, which is just a simple dot you can do, or I like to do a brush stroke, but it could just be a dot with the end of your paintbrush. Uh, there's some lights in here, so maybe we'll get some lights in the eyeball. Um, Crease. She's got creases in her blender. I'm going to take a little bit of a larger brush here, and uh, this is a little darker around the crease. And then we're going to go just with a little bit lighter. Oops, I got a lot of paint down there, up in here before we get to the eyebrow and a lot lighter down in here I like to think of skin tones <coughs> as I said as shapes that helps me take away the fear of an ear or an eye or a color tone. Now, are we getting there? Gotta let that dry for a second. So we will come back with the, the eyebrow. An eyebrow usually begins straight up right here from the nose. You can see that. So this is where your eyebrow would begin. And then you would, I usually take a line that I like, and then I'll do it in black so you can see it, because I don't know if you can see my line. So there's the line. And I'm not worrying about color. And you can even just kind of fold this in with your finger, if you like, or if you really want to be perfect, you can take a really thin brush and do your little, your little hairs. It's like watching paint dry. I hope this is being helpful, but no, it's practice. It's all practice, 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 practice. One practice after another. <sighs> We're still letting that eye got dry. Okay, so you can see up here, here's a shape right here, right under the eyebrow. You see over here under mine, it's quite dark. So I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna take a little dry brush, dry brush, just a little color. And I'm going to lift it, lift that eyelid, so to speak. And I lost a little bit of the dark color here, so I think I'll come back in here with some of the darker color. And if you see in a lot of paintings, they have not really even blended their their painting or their feature. You know, here I can see this little side of her nose, so I might just actually pull a little of that in just because I can see it right here, and I can see I need some dark in here. It helps to enlarge so you can really look at what you're working on. And then I do blend and smooth, but um, so I see that. It's a little dark, but she's coming along. She's 
still not dry. Sometimes you want to get a hair dryer. Now here's the tricky part, the other eye. Since I didn't make a copy of the other eye enlarged, I think I'm just gonna use this one, okay? We're gonna kind of just layer these so if we have to refer back, we can just lift. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go in with the white. Now, a lot of times you can measure your eye, okay? So here, your eye should be the same distance on your brush in between the two eyes. So what my eyeball is over here, I need to have it here. Wow, my eyes are very close and way off. I do that all the time. So, oh well, we're off a little. Like I said, not perfectionism. We're not going for it. We still recording 26 minutes. Oof, I was kind of hoping that I wouldn't bore you with this this long. Let me come around in here. Same here, you can measure with your brush. Just come down here and see where about you're at. Now remember, no two eyes are alike. Your eyes are not the same, believe me. That's my dog, he barks all the time. Not at me, at his dad. He wants his dad to take him all over. That's all he wants. He lives for it. Anyway, he's a big German Shepherd, but he's a baby. There we go. Does that, is that starting to kind of look like two eyes that are similar in color? Then I put a little yellow, poker yellow in there for highlighting. Now, do you see on this eye, do you see no eyeball goes off like that, off into space on the side. So I'll just simply go back with some white, touch that in like this. There we go. All right, now what do you see wrong with this? That eyeball is a lot smaller than that eyeball. So we go back, it's just paint, and we eyeball it in. <laughs> yep, that's what we're doing, eyeballing it. It's all right. Come on, this is just fun. This is supposed to be fun. Just for fun. That's what we're doing. Oops, my pupil is giant over there. Must be out. Your pupils get bigger in the daylight or smaller? I can't remember. Okay, so then we'll come over here and kind of, and I would use a much smaller liner brush, but I really want you to see um, how this pans out. Oh, and then we should put a, there is definitely a darker line around her iris. I really have to learn the anatomy of when I talk with you. Oh, here. Oh, the pupil's giant. It's a giant pupil. It's a giant pupil. Pretty soon we're going to get ready to go live and record, so... I will be free of this. Just kidding. I don't know, I got it real wet right now. So, I really need to go back in with some lights. And when that happens, when you start to get where you're just overworking it, just go somewhere else on the painting. Just go in the eyelid here. There's lights need to come in here. They need to come in here. 
Her eyes are way too close. But, you know, the people who are going to view this, they don't care. They don't know. They don't know. It's my painting. It's what. It's my story. It's what I wanted, right? It's how to talk like an artist. Little tip. When someone says, oh, I love the way you did this, and you thought it was a mistake, you tell them it was meant to be. It was meant to be like that. You had that intention all the time. Even if it is a mistake, you wanted it. Defend it. Just defend what you're doing. Is, oops. And no matter how hard you try, no two eyes are going to be alike. No two eyes, no matter what. And it doesn't really matter because you might add a you might add something to your eyes. Because once we start to get the, the fun spot, all the abstracts and all the other fun stuff, you might put a wing on your eye. You might put a flower over your eye. You might put glasses on it. You don't know. We won't know until we get to that part. And that's still way wet. Do the eyes look okay? Are they getting, they're kind of big, aren't they, for that head? Hmm. When that happens, I, I come in and I have to have, oops, I put in big hair. That helps to balance it. So, again, your eyelash, eyebrow would be up here. And you brush it out with your finger. You can work on it till, for as long as you want. Just relax into it. Enjoy it. Put on some music. I'd have music on if, if I wasn't here with you showing you this. Ooh, look at the Lord. I messed it up. Oh, see, that's how easy you can fix it. Hmm. I think she needs a little more. Oopsie. <sighs> well, I mean, it is what it is. We're going to come in with some lights now here. Get an eye out. Some lights in here. I don't know why they say don't blend. I have to blend somewhere along the way. I'm going to come down here with the little darks. You can see on here, she's got dark in here and dark in here. You see that? And the dark kind of runs right straight down right here. So when I'm in my dark here, it does come kind of straight down and kind of goes into that nostril. Same with here. And it comes down, goes into that nostril. And this is dry brushing. This is pushing the paint with your brush. You don't have to have any on it. You're just pushing it around. And you're just playing, simply playing. I just like to push the paint. Something happens when you're when you're doing this too. You just kind of go into your own space. You know, you kind of. You know, when I put paint on one spot, I go over to the other side and I add the same paint. So I keep. So I don't end up with two different colors. Although we could make your face one half one color and one half the other color no shame in the game baby no shame in the game we just do what we want to do i'm gonna put a little of this yellow here i'm gonna brush it out a little bit 
There's lots of good tutorials on how to do eyes and faces on on, on uh, YouTube. So I use YouTube for just about everything. And over here I do a cut the eye. Okay. So you got your starting to see. She's coming to life. So we get down here to the nose. I usually right away go for the nostrils. So that kind of tells me. And you know, the nostrils are easy. They're just a kidney shape. <coughs> Excuse me. Where is that coming from? And then I kind of shadow in. Give me some idea. Look at her mouth is way off. So then we'll bring that down with these two little guys. So I got the nose in. I'll come back with this. I got some of the shading in. I'll come back with a a little a little lighter color here. Bring it up because on the outside of your nose is the highlight. That's the outer part here. And then of course you've got, these are outer. Now right underneath here, I messed up on that. So I go back because this is darker. Not as dark as the nostrils. You want to still see the nostrils, but it's darker. In here, you get some shadow down in here, and some shadow right underneath the nose because there's always shadow. A lot of times my ladies come looking like they got pig noses, but that's okay. I don't care. I mean, I do, but I don't know. I'm working on them. It's practice, practice, practice. It's just paint. It's practice. You just keep painting over and over until you feel like you got it right. It's like anything. You didn't, you know, if you want to play the piano, you got to practice. If you want to play tennis, you got to practice. Now, her nose is way off. Hmm. So now I'll go back. And I think I'll go with the burnt sienna here and here now because I've kind of got myself scared. There we go. So I just... I, I go over in here with... And I'm just shaping it in. You know, and you can refer to, especially then to the black and white photos, because a lot of times with the black and white photos, you can really see where her highlight is on her nose and here on the bridge. There's definitely highlight in here. So I'll go with some white. in here and you know there's come back with your white don't be afraid of white again I kind of spread it around oopsie I'm blending it oops I just did so what I told you not to do is I lift my paintbrush and go back into the water here. Anyway, well, you get the gist, right? Of this. Now, you know, I mean, it's coming. I would work with her a little bit, but she's coming. Okay, so now we're going to have some fun with the lips. Um, we're going to use both of these because 
Now I'm just doing this quickly. Like I say, we're 39 minutes. Oh, I wanted to keep this as short as I could. All right, so lips, brush. Kind of like I like to use a little angle brush. I'm gonna take a little of the cadmium red. And I'm gonna take a little of the titan, I always call it titanium. Titan buff, it's titanium white and titan buff. I'm gonna try to make a close, good lip color. Yeah, that's pretty nice, isn't it? Okay. And here's her shape. She's got a real defined shape. Just, and come down from your eyeball. And eyeball. And her lip comes like this, and then she has an open mouth. Now, you don't have to have an open mouth. We're just using this as a an example. And then her bottom lip is somewhat pouty, and it comes here. I may go back with a little dark to put for the open mouth. Bring that in. We're still got all of our... our uh, Oh, her mouth is open too. Okay, here's a closed mouth. Kind of open. But anyway, so you can see she's got dark in here. I just spread this paint. Doing a shape. Just a shape. Darken down in here. Dark over in here. And dark on the bottom. Now and then, rinse the brush because I was using black. Now we go back with that red and buff color. Here where we got more color. Kind of go on here. And just kind of draw the lips. See that? And what are we not looking for? We are not looking for perfection. Right? And that is not perfection. I might have to wait till that dries a little bit. I think I'll go with my tight buff. Ooh, that was a lot of paint. See, I'm getting worried on time. This is one thing. You just got to relax into it. You can't be worried about time. Like, all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, you guys are getting bored. And, and if you are, you can turn it off, come back if you need some more advice or if you have any ideas. And, of course, please share on our page. Page is going to be really important. There's a chin. I got to define that chin. I cannot take that chin anymore. I'm going to come down around here. And it's all right to screw up. Believe me, I screw up lots. Just, I just don't tell you guys about it. So now I've lost a lot of my shadow, a lot of my shading. So I'm gonna need to come back. Oops, I'm getting wild with this paint. Just absolutely wild. It's not right. And I'm gonna need to bring back in some of my darker shadows. Still, we need a lot of dark under here. 
so you can see you know how just using these images to help you is just such a great tool and we have such an opportunity here in our in our lifetime we have so many resources i mean this is unbelievable how lucky we are that we have these resources to um, help us accomplish oh they had their tools too back in i don't want to say dark ages but you know they had their their stuff eye isn't quite dry okay i'm going to go back up here now to this eye and i'm just going to show you a little bit where i'm going to take some black and i'm going to wipe it off on the paper towel till it's very dry and then i'm just going to really lightly lightly as light as you can shadow that over the lid see how that gives that nice sleepy eye i cannot do it on that one That one's still wet. So then, and this is where you really need a fine brush. If you're going to put in eyelashes. Okay. A lot of times, if I have this dark line that seems real dark under there, I might go back with a real light liner brush and just kind of divide it up. And I, I, I'll do the same thing sometimes up on the top. See, and it takes off the harshness of the eyeball. And I'll go back in with my black or brown or whatever color you decided. And we're making an eye brow, eyelash. An eyelash comes, okay, here's your eye. You see that up here? And an eyelash actually comes down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. Doesn't go like this, okay? That's, it doesn't do that. So what we're gonna do is, and we're doing it backwards. Oh gosh, this is gonna be tough for you to see. You might need to enlarge it. But we're just gonna go down and up, down and up, down and up, ooh, ooh. A lot of times, I got to tell you, I can't do it that way, so I have to turn my canvas around. Can you see? And go down and up, down and up, down and up. Now, you got to remember, not too many eyelashes, and eyelashes are not perfect. They mix and mag mangle around each other so you can go one here and make one off center not too many i gotta tell you there that's probably good oh i don't like that one right there just to give the idea i don't want it to look like spider eyes now when you get down here it's a they're little they go up and down so they go like can you see that down? So let's say this is the eye and they go down, down, down. Now I over exaggerated it. So, so you just take your brush. Okay. And we're going to go down. Oh, sometimes you need to add water because very fine liner brush. This is even thick, you know? You know what's a, I gotta show you. I use, ah, oh, oh, hate that. Okay, so I made a mistake, okay? Got that big, thick eye on. So I just go like this and wipe it off. Simple, simple, easy peasy, simple as pie. Don't worries about it, no worries. There we go. Um, I gotta show you. Okay, makeup brushes. Gosh, they were great. Because let's face it, look at this. That's a that's an eyeliner brush. That you couldn't even ask for a better brush. Look at that. Now I actually can make my Let's 
what do you think? So gives her some some look, some depth. So we'll go back to the mouth. And we'll try to get this mouth in here a little bit. So we got a, you know, the mouth is here. And I'm just using the eyeliner brush because that is just a fantastic brush. I love it. Now we all know that our lips have dimension and lines. So I might, I might come in with, I dropped my good brush. With a little darker red here, right under this. Yeah, simple, easy. And then I will go with a real light, almost white as a highlight here. See that? See how that goes? And we go back to the darker on the edge, okay? I'll give it a minute to, to soak in there. And then I'll take my, dry my brush off, and then I'll take and I'll kind of pull it, pull it down in order to give the lip a little dimension. There, what do you think of that? See, it's getting there. <sighs> Same thing for the top. It's darker right in here. It can be darker in here. And then there, it's usually sometimes a real light. Another one here. a minute to dry. Like that. So you see what we're getting at, right? Now that it's dried a little bit, I kind of like to do a real nice highlight across the lip. Give that, kind of pull it so it's not a straight line. Some people go back even with a light, real light, right here on the top of the lip. So you can barely see it, but it kind of pops it out just a tad. So anyway, well, that's it. I mean, in a nutshell, there's a lot more you could do, a lot more. I mean, a lot more shading if you really wanted it to, or uh, maybe even put some cheekies in, you know, with a little red. And then, you know, and it, you know, if you're experimenting and you're unsure and you want to put some blush on, put a little chalk on there and see what it looks like, you know, just kind of rub that in. You know, and then you can always go over, even with your whites, you know, you can, let's say just you want to see, make sure that you're, you know, you want to test the waters and make sure that you're putting your highlights. So I always just keep some chalk on hand and it doesn't have to be expensive chalk. I mean, you can get it at, you know, anywhere from just a couple of bucks until a fortune you can spend on art supplies. And believe me, I spent a fortune. Love them. Love them, love them, love them. Anyway, I hope that helps you. Uh, we're at 54 minutes. Um, you know, at this point, I guess, and we're going to, we're going to play with this one later, but I would, oh, you want to, I know what you want to see. You want to see the other shadow of the eye, other eyes. So take the black, load the brush, Brush it off and lightly, lightly, lightly put the shadow over in there. I will then come back with my liner brush 
And like I said, I love, oh, I'm gonna put a little flesh color line to break up the line here real lightly. Same with down here to break that solid black line. Oh, I got a little too wild, but that's all right, that's all right. We don't care. Then I'm gonna come back with the brush. Again, it was down and up, so you go down and up. Oh, I gotta put a little water on that brush. Not too much water. Down and up. And not too many eye lashes, remember, because you don't want it to look like spider eyes. Let's see what down here. You know what I forgot to put in on this other eye? And I'm sure you on watching this are noticing. I forgot. I forgot. See how I have this in the corner of this eye here? I don't have any. Boy, acrylics dry out fast, man, oh man. Gotta keep, keep your brushes in the water. Take care of your tools. I do not brush that off. I loaded it with a little cadmium red and white, and I'm just gonna put in that so we, we have a little of that. Let me put a little over in here, too. Yeah, like that. See her? Oh, she... She needs a few more eyelashes, I can see that. Over on this one eye we're working on, she's a little darker. Take pictures. Pictures tell you a thousand words where you need to, where what you're missing, where you need your highlights and your lowlights. What do you think? She's a little sleepy. She's got sleepy eye. Anyway, so we're working on. We don't know what we'll do with the hair yet. We haven't decided. She may have a hat. She may have many, many things can transform and take place. That's what this class is all about, ladies. It's about what we're discovering about ourselves and our visions that we are having in our future here. So, anyway, there she is. That's a tutorial. I hope that was helpful. Um, if not, you can always come paint with me. We're working on, on some stuff. Um, you can find me online, I guess. I don't know. Join our... Oh, I don't know about that. I got some eyes one. See, you just... You just keep playing. That's what's... Oh, no! I put a red dot in the middle of her eye. I'm overworking her. Overworking her. Don't want to overwork. When you want... When you start to get careless... Time to move away. Time to move on when you're careless. Anyway, I, was, I hope it's helpful. And um, just cover that up. There we go. I think I like that. Need a little bit more yellow ochre here. Where I see how you fix, 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 fix. I'm gonna put a little more yellow ochre here too. There we go. Just fix. Now I gotta go back and fix her eyelashes. Anyway, you'll see this in a little bit on on uh, when we go live. We go live in a little bit. So I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and. Uh, if you have any questions, just send me an email or a text or just put it right back on Facebook. 
All right. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.